I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, July 28, 2022. If Montreal Street at John Counter is part of your usual route to work, you may have needed a detour this morning as Kingston police continue to investigate a serious incident near the Tim Hortons at that intersection. According to Kingston Police, EMS were called to the scene around 10.20 p.m. on Wednesday, July 27th, where police say officers discovered a person without vital signs laying in the grass outside of the business. Police say CPR was administered before paramedics determined the victim had succumbed to their injuries. Kingston Police have yet to confirm any details of the incident. Any witnesses or anyone with any information on this incident is asked to contact Kingston Police. A reminder that you can leave tips anonymously by calling the Kingston Police main line and simply asking to remain anonymous. Don't forget to check back with Kingstonist.com for more details from police as they become available. Brockville police are asking the public for clues as they investigate the discovery of a female body at a local waste management facility on Friday, July 22nd. According to Brockville police, staff at the facility on California Road in Brockville contacted police just after 10 a.m. when the woman's remains were found amongst a load of cardboard which had been transferred to the Brockville site from another waste transfer site in eastern Ontario. Police say next of kin have been notified. However, the woman's identity will not be released at the request of her family. In a press release, police did say that she was in her 30s at the time of her death and from the Napanee, Belleville, Trenton area. Anyone with any information on this incident is also asked to contact police. A reminder that you can leave tips anonymously by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS or online at crimestoppers.ca. In case you missed it, Environment Canada and Climate Canada have confirmed at least one tornado touched down in the Tweed area last weekend. On Sunday, July 24th, a line of severe thunderstorms swept across southern Ontario and produced damaging winds with peak speeds near 175 kilometers per hour, making it rated as high as EF1 on the Fujita tornado scale, according to Environment Canada. The Weather Authority says that areas that received the most damage from the tornadic winds and downbursts were the Marmara to Madoc area, where they have been able to track a long line of damage. A COVID-19 outbreak declared on Parkside 2, pods A, B and C of Providence Care Hospital is now over. The outbreak was initially declared on Wednesday, July 13th after four patients tested positive for the virus. And lastly, the 24th annual Rose of Hope Golf Tournament raised $285,000 for Kingston Health Sciences Center Breast Imaging Kingston Facility. According to the University Hospital Kingston Foundation, over the next five years, the Rose of Hope Committee and the women of the Cataraqui Golf and Country Club have pledged to raise a million dollars for a future MRI machine at Kingston Health Sciences Center's Breast Imaging Kingston facility. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.